Dave, October is coming to a close. We're going to roll into November here in about eight or nine weeks, I guess. We're going to put a bow on 2023. Yep. By the time people listen to this, we'll be handing out candy to the to the local neighborhood kids or maybe maybe airfix kits. I don't know. Something. Well, that'd be a good idea. You know, that would be a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a great idea. If somebody out there, you've got a giant collection. Now, don't give them old frog kits. We don't want to turn them off. But if you've got a collection that you know that you're never going to build, for Halloween, hand out, hand out some model kits. That would be cool. I guarantee you the kid would remember it. Now, growing up, when we were handing out candy, my, my dad was a dentist, so we'd hand out candy, but we'd also hand out toothbrushes. <laughs> Just, yeah, well, that's, <laughs> a, as a matter of fact, where I, the cul-de-sac I used to live on, young married couple moved into the end, and she was a dentist. And of course, every Halloween, she's handing out toothbrushes. I think that's, I think it's a required thing to do for a dentist. <laughs> You know, for lawyers, what we do is we give the parents a shot of bourbon, and then we put a our card in the in the kids uh, in the kids bag. Free <laughs> consultation, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Well, before we go too far off the rails, uh, we got some good stuff coming up in November, folks. Yes, we do. We've got two episodes, and I know you're looking forward to it, man. Especially yep. episode one hundred and two, which is going to drop on the heels of this twelve uh, minute model sphere. Yeah. Uh, back from his European vacation and uh, ready to settle back into the modeler's retired modeler's life. <laughs> uh, we've got Mr. Steve Hustad back again. Yes. And uh, we're going to get Steve Hustad's take on uh, improving and attaching and fitting canopies and clear parts. Well, and that might be that might be a timely subject for some people. Yeah, like me. Just like the That's last episode I... was was timely. <laughs> That's right. I'm trying to get a trying to get moving, man. Yep. Well, I know we talked canopy and clear parts with Doctor Strangebrush, and uh, Steve's got his own take on things. Some of it might be similar, but I know he's doing some squash molding and vacuum forming and or aftermarket vacuum form canopies and all that. And uh, yep. some of that stuff's intimidating for uh, people like me and other modelers. I hope. Oh, me too, man. I'm telling you, I'm looking forward to an in depth discussion with Steve regarding vac formed canopies. Yeah, and him telling us how easy it is. Yeah, well, well, you probably. <laughs> well, and if if that's not enough, folks, episode 103 is coming up uh, a little later in the month. And we have a, well, this was kind of your idea, Dave. We wanted to start maybe exploring some of these uh, smaller entrepreneurs out in the model sphere. Yes. And uh, when Ian McCauley was in the third chair during doing the wheel for us a few months back, uh, he mentioned Mr. Kevin Hendrich, uh, the owner and proprietor of Kit Masks. Up in Canada. Yeah. And uh, I know uh, you live and die by the canopy mask. Oh, gosh. Uh, I will not do an aircraft model that does not have a canopy mask. So, folks, we may be uh, have an hour of Dave making requests for... Uh, yes. there. W I can guarantee you there will be some of that. <laughs> canopy masks that aren't out there yet. Uh, That's right. So, uh, we actually got that lined up just before we pushed the record button on this one. So... Uh, Looking forward to that, too, because I'm just kind of curious how he got into it and where it's going and uh, what exactly he's got going on. Yes. And I also, I, you know what? We know a number of uh, of the smaller, what what are termed cottage industry businesses, here, model-related businesses here in the U.S. I, I'll be interested to hear the specific Canadian spin that we get out of this one. Yeah. I didn't think of it that way, but you're right. Yeah. All right, folks. We got two episodes, and that's what they're going to be. Hopefully, unless Steve goes on another vacation on us. Nope. Steve's are lined up and ready to go. Well, Dave, November's not want for shows. No, it's not. Uh, you know, it used to be that October was the end of show season. No, oh, it's not anymore. It's not anymore. It really has the number of modeling clubs increasing with the show calendar becoming more full. November really has become a, a month for shows. Well, I've pulled three up that uh, 
only because all three of the folks who are involved with these shows have been telling us about them. Right. <laughs> uh, they're in our listener core listener group, I think. And uh, first up uh, it comes from uh, Bob Bear, the voice of Bob. And uh, one more time, we're going to plug his 2023 IPMS Region 12 Regional Contest. Now, this is a, a multi-club extravaganza. Yep. Which more and more, uh, more and more shows are becoming multi-club just simply because that uh, the more hands makes lighter work thing. Well, this show's going to be happening the uh, Saturday, November fourth at nine a.m. at the Gaston County Citizens Resource Center in Dallas, North Carolina. Uh, if we don't have this flyer up, we need to put it up. The theme is all things rec- reconnoiter. Mm-hmm. So I guess. Uh, I don't know. Reconnaissance vehicles. Vehicles, uh, scouts on horseback. Right. Uh, recon aircraft. Uh, yeah. Recon liaison aircraft, uh, photo aircraft. Yep. So uh, that's a good theme. I don't yes, think I've ever seen that one before. Uh, I think Amps did it one year for yeah. recon, ta- recon vehicles and recon tanks, I think. Many years ago, Amps had it as a theme. Of course, that's just armor related. Well, if you're not in the Southeast, folks, there's another one coming up on the same day, Saturday, November 4th. Uh, this would be the 40th annual Butch O'Hare Model Contest uh, and Fender uh, Show. Our friends from Butch O'Hare, man. Uh, yes, this is at the DuPage County Fairgrounds on November 4th again. And uh, their theme is the Fabulous 50s. Now, there's an inclusive theme right there because that yes, just it about is. gets everything, even sci fi. Yep. I mean, some of those crazy spacecraft and oh uh, yeah, conceptual things and um, horror, you know, <laughs> B well, movies. Right. Well, a C fifty seven D from uh, uh, from Forbidden Planet, right in the middle of the fifties. Again, that's uh, the Saturday after our next episode drops. So we're going to get this one in quick. November fourth, Saturday, DuPage County Fairgrounds, Butch O'Hara's fortieth an- annual show. That's a long time. Yep. I wonder what the longest running show is. That's a great question. If somebody out there knows it, I know Huntsville's got a long standing one. So if you are hearing this and you've got a continuous show that your club puts on, let us know how many years. We'd like to know what the oldest continuous show is. And finally, this one's a little later. This is uh, November 18th, the 2023 Model Con in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Yep. At the Rutherford County Agricultural Center. I'm still holding out a little bit of hope. We'll see. And we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yes. Uh, I know our friends down there in the Knoxville area are asking if we're coming. Yep. And I, I bet the I bet the guys from uh, Huntsville will be up at that one. Oh, they will. And Murfreesboro's an easy drive for us. Two hours and change. And I've got one more show. Well, let us lay it on me, Dave. Okay, our friends up north in Cleveland. Oh, that's right. They, these are the guys who hold their show on a Sunday. Right. So, always always different. But Cleveland Model Show 26 is being held Sunday, November 5th at the Kirkland School Complex on Chillicothe Road in Kirtland, Ohio. You can Google Cleveland Model Show or go to clevelandmodelshow.org. Those guys, they put on a great show. It's a big show. Several of the Septemberists are usually there, the ones that uh, remain in the Cleveland-Akron area. And uh, it's one, if they didn't hold it on a Sunday, that's one that I would want to get to. So uh, if you're in the area... And a Sunday show is not a problem for you. Get on up there. Well, Dave, what's been happening on the dojo? Let's see. This last week, we got 27 new members. Uh, We're approaching 3,000 members on the dojo. Uh, The number of people who are posting regularly is growing. Which would include us. <laughs> yeah, which would include us. We're I'm trying to get better at that. I really am. I've I've struggled for the last month and I'm coming out of those struggles thanks to you and Steve and some other folks. So um what I love is the number of people who are doing posts related to sidewater. In fact, Mr. Karnaka 
posted one today of a really good Jaws diorama with some great side water. You know, so I love to see all of the members poking fun at you and your your um, <laughs> and my pet peeve and your pet peeve. But what I also like is you posting your air booth with more stickers on it than I think um, I think I've ever seen. I I love it. I need a new spray booth. I'm out of room for stickers. Yeah, well, that's right. Well, I'm not sure. Wait a minute. I'm not sure it really works like that, but uh, okay. If you're a listener and you're not a member of the dojo, you either because you avoid Facebook, and believe me, I understand why many people do, but you can join Facebook and do nothing else other than join the dojo and post pictures. There's a lot of good content. There's at least 10 to 20 posts a day. The ones I love the best are the folks posting their their completed or in-progress builds, but anything you see, like Michael's post of that really interesting Jaws diorama. We mentioned in the last episode in Listener Mail about a guy who had sent in some photos from his family history uh, and a really great photo of B-25. We got it posted on the dojo. If any of you have albums of photographs that your grandfathers, etc., great uncles, whatever, brought back from the war, and they're sitting in your photo album, one of my goals in life is to get as many of these soldier photographs, photographs that soldiers took while they were serving out into the world because there's so much stuff that those photographs show. So join the dojo if you're already a member and you've got your granddad's photo album and he served and he had a camera and took pictures, please post that stuff. Even if it's mundane stuff, even if it's what seems to you to be mundane, there's still stuff that we can all learn from. So I highly urge those type of posts in the dojo. But anybody who wants to post, have at it. Well, all right, Dave. I think we better uh, get on to episode 102, and we'll see you fine folks there. I think so. And Balky, please note you got an extra three minutes out of this.